Hi, my name is Dan Comerford. I make uh, handcrafted guitars in Seto Wexford. I've been playing guitar since I was about seven years old and dismantling them and fixing them up and breaking them since I was a teenager. And it eventually led, when I had a bit of downtime, it eventually led to, I always wanted to, to build one, you know. And every guitar that I build is handmade uh, from start to finish uh, using tools that have, some tools that have been in the family for up to 70 years, over 70 years at this stage. Um, I love the connection with that, that you know, you're holding a handle. I'm holding a handle of a plane that my grandfather would have used building his house in the late 40s. So that, that's a real thing for me. You know? This is my first original design. Uh, it's kind of going for a 50s look with the kind of squared off cut out and the kind of rounded edge. It's kind of a hybrid between kind of two, uh, two different schools of thought really. It's a, bolt on neck, slightly shorter scale. Uh, this would be a good kind of rock and roll kind of, a little bit of a rockabilly kind of thing. It's a little bit twangy and kind of, yeah, you can really kind of dig into it. A favorite piece of work is that pink guitar behind me. For whatever reason, it's just the kind of guitar that I would play myself all the time, you know? And it's, uh, that's pink as well. <laughs> Uh, the first guitar was a learning process. I didn't have any real background in woodworking. I'd fixed a few things, like I'd done some boat work and I'd done some violin stuff before. But, um, but it was a big learning process. I'd never built anything that had to be that accurately done. What am I most proud of? I'm, do you know what? I, I'm proud that I actually decided to go into this in the first place. You know, I, I almost just fell into it by chance and I absolutely love it and I, I just closed my eyes and dived in basically. But uh, yeah, and, and it's exciting then to see where it's gonna go. Yeah.